Hey everyone, in this video I'll show you how to draw the graph of a sine wave. So suppose we want to draw the graph of f of x, where f of x is given by 2 times the sine of 2 thirds times x minus pi minus 1. First we'll have to draw a grid and put some numbers in it. Next up, I'll show you the ordinary sine wave. And what we'll do is slowly transform this one into the function above. Notice that I've colored the 2 in front of the sign orange. The 2 determines the amplitude of the graph. Illustrated here is the ordinary sine wave with an amplitude of 5. In our case, the amplitude is equal to 2. So we'll move this to 2. Next up, we'll inspect the minus 1. The minus 1 determines the equilibrium. In our case, we'll have an equilibrium of minus 1. So we'll move it over. Next, we'll look at the 2 over 3. This number has to do with the period. Now, the ordinary sine wave has a period of 2 pi. Now, you might think we'll end up with a period of 2 over 3. But that's not true, because we have to use a formula for this. The formula is 2 pi over whatever that number in front of the x is. In our case, that's 2 over 3. So we can simplify this to 2 pi times 3 over 2 which ends up being 3 pi. So we should stretch our formula so that the period is equal to 3 pi. I've done that here. Let's trim off the edges so that it fits nicely in our graph. And let's move on. The last number under inspection is minus pi. And this determines where our formula, quote unquote, starts. So you might think because it says minus pi, our formula should, or graph should start at minus pi. But no, it's the opposite. It should start at plus pi. This can be confusing at first, but once you practice enough, you'll get the hang of it. So this is it. That was the graph of the formula 2 times the sine of 2 over 3, x minus pi minus 1. Now, can you draw the graph of the following formula? Head over to our website to practice this and more. Thanks for watching and see you in another Bolster Academy Explains video.